Yo, what's going on guys? I'm gonna be showing you how to play Lee Sin and Carry here in season 11. We took the Conqueror set up with free boots and we have W start. We're gonna W immediately, auto attack, auto attack, recast it, auto attack, auto attack. W is by far his best ability to start for clears. Unless you're invading, if you're gonna invade the enemies, then you actually wanna start Q. Bada boom. I used my W twice to get the extra life still on that last auto. We'll go for our blue buff into Gromp. Lee Sin normally goes for a three camp clear when he wants to go for early gank or invade the enemies. Otherwise, he can do more of a five camp clear into Scuttle. He can like do Gromp into Wolves and Raps then Scuttle, but uh, you don't really need to do that. Just get in the habit of kiting, it's really useful chasing people down for also getting to your camps faster you want to try to use the second Q as late as you can it's more of an execute than a raw damage tool a lot of Lee Sin's combos revolve around using his Q2 last we're gonna be invading Rams against weaker early game junglers like Evelyn Twitch, Talia, Ramis, Zach, weak stuff that's bad 1v1s. You want to try to put pressure on it. Ooh, Viego. No, 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 no. We're going to hop back over. We want to get this red buff. And we can take Golems as well. Maybe even kill Cho'Gath. It looks like this guy's coming for me. I'm saving my W to jump back out if I need to. Like that, like it doesn't matter. Lee Sin's really slippery. Then they're not gonna be able to get me there. I got the Golem, I'll go for the Scuttle now. We're gonna get our second E on it for the slow. We're already healing back up. Try to... <clears throat> Maximize your passive, as particularly in your early levels or in 1v1s to the death. Try to use an auto attack, auto attack before you cast another ability. Might be able to get Cho'Gath here if Warwick plays it. We're gonna dash. Ah, uh, not really worth. I was in a weird position there where I could have flashed on him sooner and maybe Ward jumped out. I was just a little bit indecisive. After Cho'Gath flash, I overcommitted. It's whatever. We'll back and get our Serrated Dirk. We'll pick up our boots. Actually, we can't do that. We'll just pick up this. We have free boots right now. We still have our flash at the very least. We can revisit top lane. We just saw Ramus bot lane. I assume he already took bot, bot Scuttle Crab. I'll run wraps and try to push into his wraps and kill him there. Potentially even kill mid lane. I doubt he's. Ooh, he's actually is over here. This Cho'Gath's gonna get really big. He has a Bramble Vest. Botlane's looking kind of gankable. I might end up leaving Rambus alone. I, like I said, I think that Scuttle's gone there, so I can't really walk on that spot without them knowing I'm there. It's the Jana we want to get. Auto attack into the E. If you're in tight situations where you don't know if you're gonna have enough damage, you wanna use your E last there because look at my auto attack range. So if she was slipping out of my grasp, I hit her with an auto then E since obviously E has more range. Since, <clears throat> and something to also keep in mind, uh, Lee Sin's W has really high range. These things W is more range than his E, and his E has more range than his R, so. His abilities, it's literally Q the most range, W the second, E the third, and R the last, so. It's pretty easy to remember, it just goes in order. 
from Q to R, just like that. And then auto attack is the lowest. We might be able to push on Rams' blue buff here. It's coming up same time with my red buff. Obviously, we started at the same time. They're both on a five minute timer. Yeah, it's just five minutes. Baron six, Dragon's five, Herald six. Oh, cool, I'm on a ward. This is awkward. I can't believe he's actually still chasing me. He might actually just stay on my red buff. Check the bush. I don't think he's still here. At least we got to live. I'll show back up at Ramus's red buff and try to kill him on that again. We'll go to Raptors, do blue, we'll be level six. We'll work out a nice little kill on Shogath. Good retaliation and a shutdown. Easton doesn't really need team at because of his E. Just fast attack speed. He doesn't need burn item or team at. We'll go blue next. We'll be full HP pushing to Ramus Red 16 seconds. Lee Sin really needs to try to end games 30 minutes or sooner. You don't want to be playing late game on him. Start to see him fall off. Potential kill up here. Slow him. Uh, there we go. We used our Q last. Dash to warp, give him the shield. Got our E damage on Cho in the slow. Got our Q1, R him away. Used Q2 as the X Q. Want to get this in the bush. Ramus is here, of course. Why not? I'm just going to have to keep running. The uh, Viego has too much pressure. Got my slow on him. Auto attack in the queue. And I think War can chase him down. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. See if I can get the Ramus still. I'll go for the Raw Q. Oh, he's already taking it. That sucks. Oh well, that's fine. Get some of his Raptors. I'll go for Harold next. If one of the people. So, like, if you want to go for Herald, if you kill the enemy mid or enemy top, it's usually a pretty safe time to take. I don't think Ramus is going to try to contest either since he's behind. It would be nice if Lee Sin could dash to plants. I don't know why he can't. He can dash to wards, allied minions, and champions, or himself, but he can't dash to plants. It's kind of lame. His master EOP and low elo, he can be because of his R resets. He's a very strong carry champion for low elo, as long as you don't fall behind. But uh, in general, he's considered uh, a weaker champion. So once people learn how to play against him, it's hard for him to do things. Or at least get past his weak early game, I should say. So we get Shogath, we have Harold, make a big play here top. Got his flash. We want to get more plates down off of that first. That was actually perfect. I kicked him out of the turret range and then we killed him on the other side. That's hilarious. I'll use my Herald here in a second. I want to get more of the plates off first. 
Still using my abilities to get my passive attack speed. Auto attack, auto attack ability, auto attack, auto attack ability. Oh, I can use Herald now. I I, I waited longer than I... What are you doing, Warwick? Gonna get himself killed. X Zel... X Zest C X Z Soul. Thank you for the two months, man. Just having trouble there. We're gonna max our W second. I'd like to dump this Herald in on him. And we got a lot of uh throw damage for that. I think we'll get both these turrets. Nice. Awesome. I want to go ahead and reset. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. I don't know where Viego is. It's spooking me a bit. Back. And then we'll get our Eclipse. We'll go Eclipse into... Against their team. I feel like I'll need Merc Treads because of the Ramus. You normally want to get Edge of Night next, but in this game, I'm going to have to go for Black Cleaver because our team's super AD heavy. And Ramus and Cho'Gath have a lot of armor. If their team's really squishy, you're going to want to go for Edge of Night second into Steric's Gage. But if they're tanky like this, Black Cleaver second is a little bit better. Am I going to play Evelyn today? Uh, probably not today, but soon. I still enjoy her a lot. push back out onto the map. You don't want to get caught farming too much on Lee Sin. Then you're not ganking or taking objectives. He doesn't have tier 2 boots. Got him. Very nice. <clears throat> Max our W seconds. Might be able to get Shogath here. And we're seeing Viego a lot more these days. Get our Islo onto him immediately. Try to stay on top of them with your autos, even block off their path and stand behind them if you can. I'll save the cannon minion for Warwick. We can't push up too far now because Viego's missing. We also don't have Herald or anything, so it's going to be hard to keep shoving this. No one gets red. Might be able to kill Ramus if he comes for it. I don't know where Viego there he is. I have my W. Wanted to dash him over the wall. Yon has red buff slow. This is doable, I think. Flash stay on him. Red smite him. Damage reduction. And alright, it's worth. Vigo's kind of OP. He's thrashing me. <clears throat> Had to get away from him there. Bust his turret down. Lee Sin's really good at taking turrets because of his passive attack speed. He's absurdly good at it. This is all missing. Don't know where Ramus is. He's behind though. It's going to be hard for him to even solo me even with armor. <laughs> Kicked him and then punched him in the head. <laughs> Lee Sin's got such fast attack speed you can even pinch off autos after you are them. Kind of, Kind of nuts. Dragon's coming up here. I can't do anything about that, but I do want Dragon. <clears throat> A 
will go for the next Herald. On Lee Sin, ideally, you're getting both Heralds so you can wrap the games up. You build yourself a lead early, take as many dragons and heralds as you can once you have advantages or get kills, and then you end the games. That's all he can do, man. You do not want to be playing this guy late game. <laughs> I can't stress that enough. This is not a late game champ. I smited too early. My bad. I think I can solo Samir. Even if I am sitting on a lot of gold. As long as she doesn't block my Q. I don't know if it's only her though. She's missing now. I'll just back. Got her Black Cleaver. We'll go Sterics next. We can still get Edge of Night. I have Merc Tread, so Edge of Night isn't quite as pressing with the Diego Stun, Ramus Taunt, Cho CC, etc. My tenacity will put in a lot of work as is. The red plant thing, so then we can. Yeah, it makes sense to use the red plant even if you're not going to use it. When it spawns in at 5. I think it comes in at 5.30, like 5 minute 30 second is. As support, you normally want to break it so they can't use it. It's such a good gank tool. out of energy I'm not getting any auto attacks off so I ran out oof we need more people to fight that I'm not gonna be able to fight that by myself too many tanks there as you can see, I can solo Ramus even though he's got a bunch of armor. I have Black Cleaver and an item advantage. The thing is, once he's three or four items, that's when it gets really, really bad. He still doesn't have all the gold he needs. I have Herald. We can run this down mid here in a second. Alright, let's go mid. Ooh, potential pick. Literally can't get to him. I would have had to flash and try to auto him down. I don't know if I have enough damage to pinch that though. I want to lead the Herald. Gets me out. Got him. All right, I want to lay my herald mid. That was so sketchy with the Ramus there. Uh, we should have all just grouped mid. I have herald. It's fine. Uh, yeah, Bruiser Lee Sin this game because they have double tank. If they have double armor tank, you're going to want Black Cleaver instead of double lethality item rush. Nice. Got in him. We'll push towards bot side. really really good get a nice little lead it's 
Samir is way out of position. He's got a lot of healing though. Janna, that's no fun. There's some big fights going on over here. Can I jump to- oh, I can. Nice. I'm out of all my out of energy. I can't even jump here. Got him. <laughs> We're zooming. Mm, I don't know if this is worth. Yeah, it's probably not worth. Hey, well played. Give him the shield. Good stuff. Double Herald. We have Dragon coming on now. Awesome. I'm going to take his camps and then we can reset. Hmm, it's gone. Unlucky. Never seen me play Lee Sin. I normally don't. I usually prefer Zin Zinzao or Kha'Zix. This is primarily because of popular requests. A lot of people been asking for a long time. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but Ramus's Q has a really small hitbox in terms of like when it will actually hurt you. He has to be very close. Lee Sin's R, look at my auto range. This is Lee Sin's R range. So with a lot of things like Ramus Q, you can R him before he can even touch you with his Q. So there's really no danger if Ramus is queuing at you with his speed up. You can just R him away. Oh, there's Viego. There he is. Uh, he's guaranteeing his death by doing that. I guess he's trying to stall the game out. Oh, there. What? How did he get over there? That is so strange. I don't know how that works. Like, I know he goes invisible, but it's kind of like Evelyn invisible. It's just camouflage. I suppose none of us are close enough to see him. What a goofy champ. Uh, flash Nido. Remember, if you have your R up, you always want to R them before you use your second Q. So you want to Q R Q. <laughs> nice, yo. Glad you could catch the stream. Welcome to the stream, Tricky Trap. That's kind of funny. Got him. Well played. GG, guys. If you enjoyed this Lisa and Jungle Guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Listen.